Hello, Music Bear here. Today I'm going to look at the concept of um, half time and double time uh, in elements. Um, I'll first explain what half time and double time really is. Uh, uh, it's it's a question about playing an timed melody. Uh, this is just what I uh, recorded a little uh, while ago. Uh, and the concept of half time, meaning that this melody that I uh, recorded would play double as fast as I recorded it. And of course, double time would mean that it would play um, uh, double time, uh, meaning that it would be um, uh, double as um, slow you can say that, as I recorded it. So it's, it's a question about uh, changing the, um, the, the pace of a, uh, a melody, or very often used in percussion. So um, hats are typically something that you would play in uh, half time. Um, so, so percussion elements is also uh, very often um, played in half time. Um, when uh, to use uh, a thing like this, well, you, if 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 we are thinking about the concept of half time, making this melody play double as fast as it was recorded, um, it is, for instance, in a build up, you could have the melody going in time, and then you could have it in. Uh, half time making a build up situation and of course the opposite would be uh, in a breakdown right where you uh, play the same melody but now much slower um, the melody is, is, is uh, quite simple just compress the so you can see here so it go just up no. and once again So that was the melody. Um, go back to normal um, uh, grid. I do that by holding control and rolling my mouse wheel. I better say what I do so nobody uh, is confused here. So now we're going to do this double as fast, meaning that we're going to play this in half time. And to do that, I'll first. Um, Mark everything. Uh, actually, I would like to go back to uh, my uh, I'm stock out here. Just, just a moment. Oh, that's where it is. So now, uh, I'm back here to to the start of the melody. That's better, right? Uh, and the first thing I do, I'm gonna select them all everything also what you can't see on screen everything is selected now um, and I'm gonna make them a little bit longer I'm gonna do that because I need some um, working length of the notes when I start to scale them proportionally because that's what I'm planning to do um, I'm gonna scale them proportionally at and that means that uh, this guy's position will be halved. But every note's position will be halved. And at the same time, uh, the note itself will also proportionally scale. And that's why I need this uh, space to work with. Then I'm going to make a, uh, a working note. It's not part of the melody. But um, I'm going to use this uh, note here which is exactly um, one bar to 
measure when I have the right position for all the notes because they are well, they are rather nicely uh, quantized actually I think I have hit the points somewhat okay um, but w w with this guy it is not going to be difficult at all now I can mark it all again everything is marked now right then I rest my mouse over the end of this uh, working node and I press and hold shift then I press my left mouse and I drag it to the left now see what happened see and when I get to a position where oops Hey, where are you? <laughs> there. Why didn't I see those? My, my eyes are shot. And uh, I can now delete that one and then I can put them back into the... Oh, that. Uh, I did it again, didn't I? Uh, delete it. I just press uh, my right mouse and to just change the length of the notes I do exactly what I did before meaning that I rest the mouse at the end but I don't press and hold shift I press my uh, left mouse and then I can uh, pull everything in again until they are um, in 16th notes almost everyone there's a few that isn't and if we play this again now it will be um, double as fast as it was originally. But it will still be the same melody. Of course, uh, making uh, the opposite is as easy as pi, uh, because that just means that instead of having the working notes um, go to half the size, we of course just gonna do it to double size. But we first have to um, uh, to, to um, uh, uh, set them back to, to normal time. I'll do that out of screen and then I'll come back to you. Right, we are now back to time and I'm gonna make them in double time now. So I'm just gonna make uh, a working note. I'm gonna mark them all. I'm gonna drag this up until it is one bar long. Same thing, press shift, hold shift, press left mouse and drag. I think I botched it again. There it is. Hmm. Funny. Now it is, and I can remove that guy there. Now I don't need that anymore. Now it is going to play um, half as fast as um, before, or rather, it's going to take double time. Yeah, I think we all get the. Um, the meaning of that without having to play the melody again. So that is how to make uh, both half time and double time um, very easily uh, in elements um, and uh, I don't have anything else so um, I'll just say bye bye and thank you for watching. <laughs>